Man, I cannot believe how expensive wire has gotten. Oh my word. This used to be like 30 cents. <laughs> oh boy. That's a stick of half inch schedule 40. That's insane. Welcome back friends to a beautiful breezy day here on the farm. My name is Justin. Uh, today we're working on running the electrical wiring and boxes in our little storage room in the barn. I'm not gonna lie, we just got back from Lowe's and I am suffering from some sticker shock. <laughs> the price of everything is insane right now. Uh, I'm a project superintendent for a custom home builder, so I've, I've been aware for the last year and a half that the prices of everything have been shooting up. Um, lumber, drywall, electrical stuff, plumbing stuff, everything has gone up. But, uh, you know, things were coming back down. Lumber had come back down. Uh, so, I, I mean, it was seemed like a great time to go ahead and, I mean, we got the lumber for the barn saved a lot of money w w waiting uh because the lumber prices ended up coming back down electrical stuff those single gang nail on boxes not very long ago were like 30 or 40 cents a piece and they're almost two dollars a piece i mean that's just insane wire the rolls of 12 2 uh the thousand foot rolls used to run about 230 240 dollars something like that uh, not very long ago and you saw the price of those things i mean just absolutely ridiculous so i'm going to be rethinking how i'm going to run my stuff i was going to do uh pvc for all of the exposed stuff and just run wire through the pvc uh, i'm not don't i don't think i'm going to do that anymore not with it being seven or eight dollars a stick for half inch so uh i'm probably going to switch to mc cable honestly for all my exposed lighting in the in the base um i think it's gonna be cheaper so we'll have to see but bought the boxes that we need for the outlets and switches so we're gonna get started on that today so appreciate you guys joining us and i hope you enjoy the video the kids are awesome so we've got to dig this trench it's about 300 feet from the barn up to the house <laughs> and I've, I've not had a chance to get a trencher probably will be another month or so before I can get a trencher but kids I volunteered to start digging on this <laughs> I told them I had to be three feet deep <laughs> and uh, that didn't scare them off so they're, uh, they're jumping on it so we'll see how far they get today so I've got this uh, panel here. I actually bought it new. It was on the clearance rack at Lowe's about four or five years ago. And it's a 3060 square D home line. So I'm gonna use that here for my panel. It's bigger than what I need for the barn, but I paid 22 bucks for it. So I, when I when I saw it on clearance and it has the main breaker in it, I was, I was shocked. Uh, it was on clearance rack for 22 bucks. I'm like, I don't know what I'm ever gonna use that for, but I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Cause I've never seen one that cheap. So I grabbed it and uh, so now I'm gonna use it. Now it's got a little bit of surface rust on the enclosure and I'll probably clean it up a little bit just because it's been <sighs> under a tarp for four years while we were building the house and such, but it'll, uh, it's still in good shape. So I'm gonna use that here and then we're gonna go ahead and throw our boxes on where we're gonna mount those i've got everything marked out uh worked on this yesterday framed out a little spot for a window unit ac and uh put an electrical box for for the plug in and uh because that's going to be important come summertime so let's get let's get started on uh getting this panel mounted and these uh, boxes put up Thank you. 
the old hammer clines and screwdriver chisel. ended up having. Now my barn won't burn down. Likes your hair. <laughs> you got her pretty deep down in there. putting these plastic bushings up in the knockouts that I'm taking out. Um, that protects the wires from uh, touching the metal and it holds them in place.
uh, I think it's got to go through um, the staple on that back side. And, Some needle nose pliers on the way back in there. So they were harder than mine. push it up against the screwdriver and then pull the screwdriver out and push it in as it goes. Like bend the end over a little bit. Like that. So it cur it's got the curve of the white. Yep, right there like that. Okay. Now push it in, push your screwdriver in the other one. All the way to the back, push your wire up against the screwdriver. Okay. And then as you're pushing, pull the screwdriver out a little bit. Yep. Feel the wire up against the screwdriver. Oh, cool. Yep, there you go. Look at you go. That was weird. <laughs> That's not so bad, is it? Right there. That should be good. We're having to improvise. After going to Lowe's and seeing how much electrical wire costed, I had some left over from when we built the house, and then I had an old scrap pile. Um, we started digging in the old scrap pile. So we've got a little bit of UF, and because that stuff don't go bad being in weather, we're gonna use that, and uh, we'll be close. We'll only need about 100 feet. 
but that's still better than a whole row. Well, that's about all we're going to be able to do today, but we got a lot accomplished, more than I thought we would. I didn't think we had enough wire to do a whole lot because I didn't. We only had like a half of a hand coil left over from when we built the house um, of the 12 2. And then I had a little bit of 10 and a little bit of the uh, number 8. So we have a home run here. And we have the lighting home run left. And that's it as far as wiring inside. So all these outlets over here are all done. All those outlets are all done. These outlets, that, that, that outlet. So that just leaves this lighting box. We've got these outlets all done. And then it just leaves this one down here, which is gonna be for the air compressor. And then just a spare outlet over here for maybe a freezer or something. Um, I tried to do as many dedicated outlets as I could. These are all done and these are all done. Um, did as many dedicated as I could because I plan on having, I've already got a bandsaw that I'm gonna put over here and then I'm gonna have a drill press, Lord willing someday, and then a few other things. Um, so I wanted to have as many of them as, as I could dedicated so I don't overload anything. With the exceptions of those, I just have to run, we're gonna do goosenecks, one, one over on the center, and then one on each side of the barn door here on the front for exterior lighting. So I'm gonna have to run this lighting switch leg here. I've got a piece of uh, three wire that I'm gonna run up, and one of the circuits will go for my bay lights out in the barn, and then one will go for the front lights out there and then um i'll have another switch leg that i'm going to get to come up those are going to be the outside the inside will be um for the lights in here so i've got to get i've got to get some i'm probably going to run the top part up here in mc cable because after looking at the price of pipe today getting pipe and thhn is going to be just ridiculous so I think I'll probably end up going the MC cable route and just running it exposed up top. Same for out in the bay. I'm gonna do two of the UFO lights out there. Not sure what I'm gonna do in here. I don't know if I wanna do a couple UFO lights in here or maybe just some flat troffer type uh, LEDs. I don't know, I hadn't decided yet. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, I've gotta wait till payday to go ahead and get some more wire to finish these last few home runs and then get some insulation so we can get the walls insulated. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get some OSB up, which I already had the OSB. I got it back whenever it was like 10 bucks a sheet. It had came back down, but now it's headed back up again. Last time I was at Lowe's, it was like 30 bucks a sheet. So it's getting, uh, getting hard to build anything anymore. It's crazy, expensive. So anyway, thank y'all so much for joining us and uh, we'll see you next time.